Hello and welcome in today's hands-on session. We will learn how to set up and manage dynamic groups distributions in the Exchange Online. Dynamic groups, you know, automatically update their membership based on the user attributes, helping administrators avoid manual group management. And this is kind of pretty interesting that all you need to do is to define the user attributes accurately and what happens that whatever the membership rule you set up it detects that and then took the decision according to the attributes you have put against the user now here all you need to do is to connect to the admin.maxoft.com and here's go to the exchange and get access to the admin.exchange.com and once you connect it you need to expand the recipient section and here you have this group and there you can see you have different tabs so after your dynamic distribution list created if you wanted to manage that existing list you need to switch to this tab which is the dynamic distribution list and you will find your dynamic distribution list, list here now we are going to create the new dynamic distribution list and let's say if you have selected this max of 365 tab and if you click to add a group so in the first initialization it will ask you for the group type so it's not necessary that you should switch the tabs to the dynamic distribution list and then click to add the group from whatever option from whatever tab you click to the add a group you will be asked for the group type and then the further procedure starts so here on the group type and here to create this dynamic distribution group all you need to do once you ask on the choose a group type you need to go with the dynamic distribution and here's something mentioned regarding this dynamic distribution and it says what sends email to all members of the list the group membership list is is updated every 24 hours based on the filters and conditions you set so that's good to know about this group and this membership list is updated every 24 hours and it based on the filter and conditions then click next and here we are going to name this group as anything that you can make like all sales staff and here it's up to you but let's add some description to define this group and this is the dynamic group for all employees in the sales department then click next and mostly you know the description does what that it allows the administrator to understand the purpose of any group or any object that you're creating then here on the assigned user you need to assign no not the assigned user because we're going to use the dynamic attributes to add the user so right now on the owner the tab is assigned user but here actually we are selecting the owner of this group so it could be anyone it's up to you so let's make our user and let's select any of the user from here as the owner of this group and for the member here it says specify the type of recipient that will be member of this group so if you go for the, for all the recipient type so everyone will get the membership of this group but if you go for only the following recipient type and here's the option user with exchange mailboxes mail user with external email addresses resource mailbox mail contacts with external email addresses so all these options it's up to you that you enable for your user then the membership in this group will be determined by the rules you set below and this is the thing that we were talking in the start of this video that here you have to set up rules and that needs to be matched and once this rules this you know criteria match then user will get the membership and here you have like some templates already there custom attribute one but there's two template three templates are available which is the state or province company and department so right now we are going to go with the department and here on the department here you can set any of the department that you want 
for your you know membership type and I set up it sales department then for the location state or province that's currently like let's set up type New York and it is the location so it's up to you that how many attributes you set like the department country you know and uh, anything like uh, office location and area and you know town whatever you know the the difference between your employees location and all that stuff whatever the attribute that you find is you know different in each person each employee so you can bring all these different you know differences of you know environment here as a attribute to select the user to get the membership of the group then click next and here in the added setting again you need a group email for this dynamic distribution list and it it could be again anything that you can set up like uh, IT team just make it simple and it's checking the availability then click next and here's the settings that you have done all the tags and attributes that you have set up and click to the create group and it will take a while and here it says all staff sales staff is created but it isn't ready to use yet and it may take up to two hours until you can send a message to this group so it required time to permanently set up so as you have seen that under the, this dynamic distribution list tab you're easily locating your newly created dynamic distribution list now how user will get the membership let me show you that here you have the user and if you click to that user so you will see this option to appear and here manage contact information once you click here so you can see some basic information regarding the user state province so let's say if we update the user details like the state of province will be New York but there's no mentioning of the department yeah there it is and if we set it to sales then click save so in this way that the attributes that we have defined in the dynamic distribution list must be you know responded on the user level because you know as you have created the rule so definitely it will validate that rule to, to provide the membership so that's all for this video and hopefully that you have understand that how to create different groups and distribution list in the Microsoft Exchange environment.